one of the things, Dan, you know, we come in here because obviously it's wintertime. And not everybody lives in California, Arizona, no. Florida, right? So we got to make do. And actually, I happen to live in Lake Tahoe during the winter. Lots of snow, right? A lot of snow, but we got to stay indoors. You got to be able to prepare for the season. So what we've had fun doing so far this winter is coming up with some drills inside. And of course, we have the whole let them play montage here. But take a look at some okay. things that we can actually do uh, to make our kids better baseball players during the offseason. Whoa! Oh, oh, man. Look at your little guy. He's like hanging on to a squash. It's a, li it's a little aggressive. It's okay. We, we call that the scalp drill. Okay. Just in case it happens to. Uh, <laughs> Good name for the drill. Uh, yeah, g go ahead and, and give him a clean shave up there. But here's the thing you give it to him enough times, and I, I realize it looks like it is a little bit aggressive. But they get better at it. And go ahead and run this one right here because I had the little Bam Bam Biscuit. and Look Ty at this. Dude, this is Ty Gloss. Look out for him in a few years. I'm not kidding. Look at the reaction of this right here. Really? Yeah. And no. you're hitting bullets. Bro, it, if you miss and you hit him as a tennis ball, it's not going to hurt. So that's the first drill that we do. Another one is just kind of get the hands going. Okay. Three ball drill. This was one of my favorite drills when I played. Obviously, you do it inside. You could do it with wiffle balls. You could do it with Three tennis ball balls, whatever. Now, here's Biscuit, and it's just boom, boom, boom. Now, nice. you got to understand, like, kids, every time they do this drill, they want to come here, and then they want to gather and take their time. So really what you do is just kind of eliminate the lower half. Forget about the lower half, just think about the hands, and you work on that fast twitch, and they got to get it right back and go ahead. So you want to keep your feet kind of spread out. You're, you're just swinging. It's, a, it's all hands. And, and, and I like doing it at the beginning just to get the hands going. Now, same concept, too, with the tennis ball. This was essentially how I learned how to play baseball, where my neighbor came over, he's like four or five years older, and he used to practice his pitching. He was the best pitcher in Little League. Practice his pitching against me and throws balls as hard as he could. So the final one is, I do the same thing with the kids. So I'm pitching, and we actually play a game, and we set it up where we start with a 1-1 count. It's a game of strikeout. And he's got to score oh, one no. run per inning. Yeah, no. I know, he pulled He just it. turned you around right there. Yeah, kept the hands inside. That was bottom of the ninth, two outs, base is juiced. But really, it's just about Letting them have fun. It is. Letting them play. Letting them uh, go ahead and enjoy it. Uh, it's what it's all about. Right? Particularly at that age, right? Right. They're learning about everything. Catch the ball, throw the ball. You want it to be fun for them. I think one of the things, you know, as now that I've coached for a little bit, that you have to make sure the kids understand, don't make it seem like work to them. Right? The more games that we can implement like these and you kind of make everything a game, the more fun they have with it. So No doubt about it. This last one here, um, I did not have my video. This is one of my favorites, if not my favorite, uh, during the off season. It's a little taxing, I would say. Uh, a little taxing or a lot of taxing? It generally can be a lot of taxing, but basically, it's a glove hand only drill. This is really good for outfielders, and it's you. You really just want to take this hand, almost get it out of the way, and it doesn't matter if you're an infielder or an outfielder, but you have a bucket of balls. And you can work me around the whole room. I did this last year on MOB tonight. So uh, I'm not exactly sure. Okay, here we how go. It went. So you're going to go. go and flag these down, yeah. right? And as soon as it's up in the air, it's, you're moving. Oh, right? just keep okay. moving. Okay, now we're going to come back one more. Here, here we go. This way. I'm going to work you some more that way. This and I'm going to work you back the other way. Now I got to get This is good, Zach. Yeah, I you got to get going. We got four more. You ready? Here we go. We're going to end on four good ones. We're going to take you right center field gap, and now we're going left center field gap. <laughs> we're going to go right center field gap. Oh. We're going to go in the corner. Go get it. Go get it. Yes. <laughs> you know one thing? That, that's the difference between a position player workout and a pitcher workout.